Hello people and welcome back again to Civilization 5. Now I realized something uh, just the other day, I've actually recorded like one too many episodes for this series. So like, I usually up upload three episodes of this every week and I just have like one extra so I'm only gonna record like enough for about two episodes this time so this will be a shorter recording session but you know just a heads up in case you care which you probably don't but that's how it's gonna end up now where were we i don't know things got a bit messed up when i forgot that one episode still sorry about that but um we're just continuing from where we left off in the last episode so it should be okay uh it looks like i was done with everything for this turn so i guess i'll just end it and keep going because i don't <laughs> i don't really remember what was going on Oh well, it's probably fine. Oh, looks like we're almost done with chivalry, which means we'll get that culture from Bison. More culture! Can never go wrong with more culture. Gotta love culture. Oh, look, and I'm building a unit. I built a horseman, which literally just became obsolete. Like, right this turn. That's great. Oh well, I've got it anyway. What am I- I don't even remember why I was building it. I guess sort of just to, like, defend this area. Whoa, look at that. Look at that unit skin. That's awesome, dude. I love the fucking... What's that unit? What's this mod called that gives them the skins? R.E.D. Mod Pack. I love that mod. It's great. <sighs> hmm. I don't know what to do. I feel like we're a bit low on workers. Might be useful to just get another worker so we can, you know, maybe improve these tobacco boost our economy a little bit. Might want to think about find, founding that final city. Actually, you know what? No, that would be the second to last. Whilst we still have some happiness going for us. You can build... What can you build here? Um, I really have no clue. Figure one of these two will be the most useful. Workshop will just give us straight up production, so let's go for that. Here, you guys can build... And I want to build an amphitheater. Get him some culture. Let's look at the tech tree, see what kind of tech we want to research next. Hmm. It's kind of a toss-up. I think theology will be good. Because then we'll be able to get what comes after theology. Things like compass and education. Once we get compass, that means we'll be able to get the uh, caravel. I, another word I don't know how to pronounce. Which I might be pronouncing right. We'll be able to go off towards here or here and see what other continents we can find, other civilizations we can meet. So I'm fairly certain there are... How many? Eight or nine? Maybe ten? I think eight or nine. Oh, I want to build a teepee there, but the buffalo were there. Oh shit, but we're getting culture from the buffalo, so it doesn't matter. Alright, buffalo, you're cool. You're cool. Road would be useful. Let's build a road. Spending a lot of time on this turn, but... It's like, oh my god, I had to click out of the fucking window again. My computer just gives me this stupid warning, and I just click out of it. Oh yeah, we had this great merchant, who we can send up to them. That's what I think my plan is. Wow, this music. It's really hardcore. I love this music, though. It's really good. <laughs> Let's see what these guys are doing. Are they gonna... Oh, I was just curious to see if they were gonna expand down to get this... Uh, these gems on this island here, but I guess they're not. So, oh well. It's just the most awkward place to have this island. It's a really good island as well, look at that. Gems and six iron. But there's just no easy way to get at the island and actually work the resources. <laughs> Such, like, weird placement. Good job, game. I don't know why I'm sending them back that way. They don't really need to go that way. Guys, oh, do I have enough money to upgrade them? I should. Let's see what they look like. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what are their promotions again? Bonus versus gunpowder. So, if other people have musket men, we can defend against that. Spirituality. Increased by. Oh, I think that's actually from this building. Where is it? From the ritual site. Yeah, that gives us a promotion that lets our units heal faster. I totally forgot about that. Uh, can move after attacking. Cool. That's a cool unit. And I think it... Usually, mounted units have that one thing where it's like... What is it? No bonus, no defensive bonus? But I think these ones do have a defensive bonus. Which is good. 
because they can be defensive and offensive. Whereas usually mounted units can only be offensive. But look at this. Oh, look! Band leader. Improves combat effectiveness of nearby land units. Transfers to another strong heart if this unit is killed. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. Defensive. I really I want to build another one. Maybe we could build a barracks and give it more promotions, but it's probably not going to need it. I think the most important thing we're going to want to think about this time is getting another city. I'll try to make these turns go a bit faster as well so that we can actually accomplish, <laughs> accomplish some more stuff in this little shorter recording session I have planned. Yes, I built... I, <clears throat> excuse me. I built another worker here. That's what I wanted to do. But now I forgot what I was going to do with it. Oh, yeah. Go improve those tobacco. I don't think they can actually work the tile, but it'll just be another resource to trade away. Shit. I need to go through the Aztec territory. Let's, let's have a chat with Montezuma. Let's have a chat with Montezuma. Open borders? Hmm? Wow, don't get pissed or anything, Montezuma. Jesus. Uh, what do you want? Two iron. I could just do that thing where I give him tobacco again. I think that's okay. I mean, I have tons of tobacco and I'm not really using it. Doesn't really matter. I mean, if there were tra more trading opportunities, it would matter a little bit more, but there's not a lot of trading opportunities so far, so I think we'll be okay giving him a little bit of our tobacco so we can get through those borders. Tobacco, the number one export. We're just getting everybody in the Aztec Empire addicted to cigarettes. Wonderful. So we can go through their land and now they're addicted to our cigarettes as well. Wonderful. We are a force for good in the world. We are a force for good. Belgrade wants my religion. Where are you, Belgrade? Find on map. Oh, you're up there. I mean, I probably could. Hmm. Only problem is I don't know if I have enough, like, um... You know, faith. Actually, come to think of it, if I build that, I'll get three free missionaries, and I'll just be able to convert everybody to my religion. That would be pretty useful. Oh, they built an amphitheater. That was quick. Stable? Mm, market? Workshop? God, I'm so indecisive when it comes to building things in cities. Let's go for a coliseum. Can never have too much happiness. Literally can never have too much happiness. Ooh, I could build a TP. I don't want to, though. I want to continue with these roads. Usually I don't use the root 2 command for roads because the game is retarded and it builds roads in stupid places. So I just build the roads myself. I don't automate workers either because they build stupid shit. Or, like, sometimes with mods where you've got a unique improvement, they don't build the unique improvement and you just miss out on all the bonuses from it. That's happened to me in the past. So I, I just do everything manually. It's a bit of micromanaging, but when your empire is this small, it doesn't really matter. For the of man. I, again, long quote. Sorry, Thomas Aquinas, don't want to listen to it. Oh, <laughs> we could build that one wonder. Oh, it got built like a million years ago. Never mind. Never mind, we won't build that one wonder. We don't have any trade routes. None. I keep forgetting about trade routes. Let's build a cargo ship. Let's see what we can do with a cargo ship. Here we can build... Stable? Forge? What would be more useful? They only have one of each resource, so... Uh, let's go for the stable. Why not? Here we can do... I mean, here? Like, thinking as if I'm building something. No, we probably want to go for education. Because that'll get us to acoustics, and that means more culture. Especially with that Sistine Chapel. It's amazing how powerful that wonder is. 25%, what is it, 25% culture in every city? 25% culture in every city, that's absurd. I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but you get a lot of culture if you plan that right. Alright, are we done yet? Nope. <laughs> My burgeoning empire has too much to do. And now there's this fucking Aztec worker in the way. Damn it, just wait a little while. 
Oh, I built another one of these. <laughs> Keep forgetting what I'm doing. But that's awesome. We'll have them defend up here and them defend down here. Do I want to found a second city like this episode so soon? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> maybe. What are these guys going for? Look at all of that, man. This is a nice little place for a city. They've got a got they've got a lot of good resources around where they where they are. Horses, cows, stone. Send these guys up right between the mountains to defend from barbarians and or Aztecs. There's not much more we can do with the scout at the moment. I mean we could discover this tiny little slice of land here, but it's owned by the Inca, so it's not like anything special is going on. There's no other really continents to go. We could send them here to get these ruins, but this place is also covered in barbarians, and I don't want to just kill my unit, so... I think maybe we'll just save them up until we get, um, what's that tech called? The one that allows you to bark embark over oceans. No, I don't want the cultural review. I want the tech tree. Astronomy. Good job. Good job. And we'll send in you here. Heal them up so they can do more adventures. Thank you for getting out of my way, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Damn, Aztecs. Do I need to... No. I gave them a bunch of money and it's lasting me a long time, so that's good. Hmm. I'm debating whether to found another city because our happiness is... I mean, it's okay. But it could be better. Cost-benefit analysis. Oh, look at that. Another great writer. Watch, I can't go through his territory now. Damn it. <laughs> Whoa, not the defensive pack. No. <laughs> I clicked too fast. I wonder if he'll just allow me open borders. No. Nope. It's three gold? What if I give you two horses? Will that will that That will that will satisfy him. I think that's fine for the time being. We don't need eight horses. Also we have another horse resource here we can improve. If I get my shit together and stop being an idiot. <laughs> so we don't really need all those horses. have like a really lukewarm relationship with our <laughs> our neighbors to the north they're really just kind of weird and not entirely nice to us but I think it'll be fine in the end F Scott Fitzgerald the great Gatsby Gatsby believed in the green light the orgastic future that year by year recedes before us it eludes us then but that's no matter. Tomorrow we will run faster, stretch out our arms further, and one fine morning... That's how that book ends. I don't like that book. I don't like it. It's, it, I just, it doesn't appeal to me at all. I didn't really like it when I read it, and then I saw that movie with what's-his-name, Tobey Maguire, and I also thought it was shit. So that was that. And of course it was for English class, so I'd write a bunch of, bunch of essays about it as well book that I just didn't like or really understand. <laughs> the bison have moved. Oh, look at this. The bison moved on top of the teepee, and now it's the ultimate tile. Awesome. I don't know what to build. More cargo ships. Well, let's see how many routes we can actually... <laughs> That's pathetic. I think if we move it there, we'll actually be able to establish some trade routes. <laughs> no trade routes available. No trade routes for you. Oh well. I mean, we have to be able to establish one from here because there's a city right there. I'm starting to wonder about my great merchant I sent out there. <laughs> I think he's in pretty dangerous territory. Or he's going to be in dangerous territory quite soon. Actually, you know what? Now that I have open borders with them, I could just send him up through the Inca territory. That would be significantly less dangerous. Why don't we do that? That'll cause less da less damage to us. An unknown player has entered the Renaissance. Cool, so that means we have a spy. We can 
spy on people who <laughs> have less technologies than us and not get any technologies from them. Because, actually, if we check Info Addict, I bet you, if we go to Technologies, oh, actually, he's actually better than us. Weird. Oh my god, and they've got, they've got more science output than us. Jesus. What the hell? Who's got the highest score? I do. I still have the highest score, but dang. He's actually got one more tech than we do. Hmm. I have a... This is what I usually do. I keep the spy in my capital, or the city with the highest potential. And then he just kills a bunch of other spies, and he ranks up, and then I use him to fuck around with other people. Now you can build a stable. And you can chill out, because I don't have much use for you until we discover... Astronomy. I keep forgetting. And I should probably upgrade them to something useful. You guys can just chill out as well, I guess. Watch out right there. And we can actually establish a trade route. Let's see. Look at that. Eight gold per turn. I like it. Am I building another one of those? Yeah. We will definitely up our gold output, which is a good thing. A very good thing.